Debbie Reynolds was undoubtedly a Hollywood great, but her life was filled with the pain of betrayal and slander she felt, especially after being dumped by her husband Eddie Fisher in favor of her friend. Being a celebrity comes with many controversies, in fact, scandals are one of the side consequences of being a star, and some of these stars seem to be more drawn to these public dramas than others. Debbie Reynolds is one of the stars whose life was plagued with controversy. Although her career was remarkable, Reynolds suffered greatly from the shame of being dumped by her husband for her friend. Reynolds was married to singer Eddie Fisher who was friends with Mike Todd, Elizabeth Taylor's husband. Following Todd's death, Fisher was asked to console the mourning Taylor and soon enough, a romance ensued between them. The singer left his wife and children in favor of his new heartthrob, also Reno's friend. Their split and Fisher's marriage to Taylor were part of the most talked about events of that decade and led to several rumors. Hey race how it happened. Reynolds and Fisher's saga, Taylor was one of the most sought after actresses of her time. She was a classic example of the word diva. The Cleopatra actress was a beauty and, at the same time, she loved controversies. Taylor was never far from scandals, and it never seemed to matter much to her. It looked like it propelled her career to greater heights as she continued to soar amid several allegations. Taylor was married eight times and twice to Richard Burton, but her marriage to Fisher was the most scandalous. Taylor and Fisher's wife, Reynolds, had been friends since their childhood, so it was considered the height of moral bankruptcy that she would steal her friend's man. Six months after Fisher had gone to console Taylor following the death of her husband from a plane crash, the duo began an affair that would go on to become one of the era's biggest Hollywood love scandals. The affair was more heartbreaking because they were all family friends who had shared moments. Fisher, Reynolds, and Taylor were pictured together socially at the time, but little was known of the infidelity behind the scenes. Fisher was the best man at Taylor's wedding to Todd, and when he and Reynolds welcomed their first child in 1958, they called him Todd in honor of Taylor's scouts. As their relationship grew more intense, the musician surprised the world by divorcing his wife and their two children to be with Taylor. Reynolds was met with pity and love while Fisher and Taylor suffered public outrage for their relationship. Despite the seeming bad blood between both women, Reynolds later confessed that she made peace with Taylor and considered her a friend except when she stole her man. Taylor left Fisher for Burton, Reynolds also remarked that she was never resentful of Fisher's betrayal. In an interview, she claimed that no one requests for a divorce until they truly want to leave, adding that she knew Taylor never loved Fisher and that he was merely a stopgap until she found love. Taylor met her true love, Richard Burton, on the set of Cleopatra after a few years together, and she spent no time in ditching Fisher for the actor her heart desired. Fisher was heartbroken after realizing he had been ditched. He confronted Taylor with a gun bit, even that was not enough to stop the romance the duo had developed. Fisher spent the rest of his life being the bad guy and regretting the cost of his actions on his career. Reynolds and Taylor remained friends until Taylor's death, even starring opposite the 2001 TV drama The Old Broads. However, Reynolds wished she had heeded the advice of Frank Sinatra, her co-star from the 1955 film The Tender Trap, who warned her of the danger of marrying a singer. Heeding the advice would have spared her from being the center of gossip from co-stars. Reynolds and Tony Curtis, Reynolds' life was an adventure featuring both good, bad, and ugly. Following the end of her marriage to Fisher, she became the subject of rumors from co-star Tony Curtis, a friend to her ex-husband, Fisher. Curtis himself was a popular star whose marriage had crashed and left him in obscurity. He was married to famous actress Janet Lee, but by the end of their marriage and his death, his career was a shadow of what it was. Reynolds' later life, after her divorce from her first love, Reynolds married two more times to Harry Carl and Richard Hamlet. Unfortunately, both unions were not the answer she had hoped for in her quest for a new love. Carl looked like he was the answer and provider Reynolds had hoped for but by the end of their 13-year marriage, she was left heartbroken and in debt to his many creditors. After avoiding bankruptcy with Carl, Reynolds could not avoid financial ruin after her third marriage to Hamlet ended in divorce. She forked out $270,000 to buy out his interest in the Las Vegas casino they purchased together, and that put her in a bad place financially.
Reynolds became more reliant on her children after she failed adventures. Although she shared an estranged relationship with her daughter Carrie Fisher, Reynolds loved being amongst her children.